Hi there guys, Sam here. Welcome to another Q&A, this time with a Club Sport 45 owner. I've just been out for a drive in it. Um, the owner's been out for a drive in it as well. Absolutely fantastic. Um, and what I kind of do in these Q&A is get to know the owner a little bit more, get to know a little bit more about the car, hopefully give you a bit more of an insight, particularly for a car that is actually no longer for sale. Um, if you check VW's Quick Create website, um, yeah, and if you're not familiar with my content, you'll kind of know what to expect. So let's get straight into this. First of all, thank you so much. Honestly, really thank you so much for giving me the chance to kind of drive this and lucky to be in the Peak District to drive on some amazing roads. With half decent weather. Half decent <laughs> weather. Literally, I was like, please don't rain. It was spitting a tiny bit. I knew it was going to be overcast, but it hasn't rained on us. Um, so I know you cleaned the car and everything before. Well, it, so it looks it, terrible. It, now. It, it looks. It, it's it's had it's got a few bit, a few marks on it, but it's, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. It's fine. What's like? Um, let's, let's start from like the beginning. I guess your your kind of car history, if that makes sense. In, uh, uh, well, uh, I didn't learn. I didn't pass my test till I was in 22, 23. Okay, so a little so bit I later. was pretty late. Uh, uh, drove a Corsa 1.2. Standard. Uh, yeah. that's, that's where everyone goes, isn't it? Then we went to I think it were uh, a 108 GTI. I think it's one or 208 GTI. 208 GTI. Yeah, okay. got one of them. Uh, 1.6 turbo. That's that's good. That's good. Yeah. What what year was it? 17. Okay. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Yeah, it might have been 16. I can't remember that long ago. Yeah, yeah. it feels long ago, doesn't it? Then I went uh, a, a sh quite a short period without a car. Uh, then I got a, a one liter Polo. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing Again. you go from that to this. <laughs> and then it, uh, one little polo which had a cylinder missing, so it were, I had to going down up hills at motorway. I had to get a run up. No <laughs> way! That's that's a good story though, isn't it? You remember the car for it. That's the. Oh, it were terrible. <laughs> <laughs> and then I got a, a a black GTI, but that were really really loud. I think it were blowing somewhere. So on the motorway, you would. You needed earmuffs. Oh really? Yeah. Okay, so that's not that's not great. <laughs> yeah. Then from that one, I went to the uh, Mark V Golf R32. Yeah, you which, me you mentioned that. Yeah. So that's like your first getting into sort of like the Golf R Golf yeah. GTI type thing. Which I absolutely love that car. I mean, it wasn't quick. They're because, not are they? They're, they're... Because it's just a big lump, but it just sounded immense. Three point two. My other half is calling me a sad knacker when I'm going through tunnels revving it up. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the thing is, it's so good that I've never owned one, but to, to actually have the chance to have a car like that, yeah. where we are now with what, September, late September 2021, um, we just know you're never going to see. Uh, no. To put such an engine in a hatch is, is, <laughs> is brilliant. <laughs> it uh, is brilliant. Well, to be fair, when I had that, I did a, a meet down in Bakewell, which is not far from here. Oh, right. yeah, 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 that's not too far. So there were. There were there were plenty there, and I can remember one of the guys who come down from Glasgow. I think he was. He had a supercharger on it, and he used two full tanks of fuel getting from there to here. No. <laughs> okay, so they're going to be really thirsty. I yeah, mean, yeah. compared to this, I mean, your economy was good in this, considering it's it's very new. Very, yeah, I just, very I just new. put it in adaptive cruise control. I did. Left lane all the way down, no problem. Stop. Don't bother. No yeah. Rush. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Make it easy. So, so R thirty two, then. And then uh, the R32, uh, Cupra, Seat Leon Cupra, 300 FR. So that's good, and you mentioned that was a manual as well. Yeah, and a, a lot of people go for these cars in autos, DSGs, or whatever. How, how did you find it? How did you find it in? Uh, mine's a manual, which. In in the summer, I loved it. In the winter, I hated it. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, because you, you couldn't pull out of a junction, even casually, without it wheel hopping. That, that's the thing, isn't it? A lot of front wheel drive cars do that, don't they? It's yeah. like. Particularly in in the UK, we have that kind of like you Monster. have to shoot, you have to go for it, and if you're just spinning up, you're not moving. Well, you're going to get crashed into. <laughs> you're going to get crashed into. You're not going to go anywhere. Yeah. And it's, it's not going to be good. But that's a good. Um, that's a great benchmark to kind of go on because that's basically a Mark Seven Golf GTI yeah. Club Sport route. Well, well yeah. I, I wanted a Golf, but I couldn't afford a Golf at the time. Yeah. So a Cupra's. A poor man's golf, as it were. You, you, know, <laughs> you know what? A lot of people have said the Cupra's actually. I've never driven a Cupra, so I, I can't really say. So, maybe a little bit better to drive somehow. Yeah, yeah. Um, That's what I've heard. Even the new one now, they say is better. Heard good things about it, to be fair. So, yeah, they, you know, if you can't get yourself into this, yeah. um, there's nothing wrong with that. And that probably set you up quite nicely, really. So, so <laughs> were you always sort of like, oh, the next Golf 8, I'm going to no. go for? No. When I first saw it, I hated it. When yeah. I first saw Golf, I, it looked hideous. You, you, <laughs> you should have seen the comments I had on the first um, the Golf R release or whatever. Yeah. Every single person commented, no lie, probably about 
200 comments on that video because it's one of my bigger videos 46,000 views everyone was like oh, it looks horrible it looks hideous doesn't look nice I can't believe you think it looks nice Sam and I, li I like Rear Wing I liked a yeah. few things about it and no one was saying it's like suddenly a year on people are like oh, it looks alright that guy on look, looks alright it, it's like you just said a year ago it's the same with everything you just get used to it in your and you know I like I wasn't too keen on like the Mark 8 Fiestas and now I'm sort yeah. of like oh yeah you see them they're a bit bulky yeah. they're a bit they are bulky actually yeah. and they're not big inside but yeah <laughs> those those are those so yeah so what were you thinking what were you well then as I was scrolling through because I, I could see that car prices were going up and I, I really I've had mine for two I've had mine for two years and I, I was getting sick of it so I, I was looking and looking and I, then this come up but in the press release it was that dark grey yeah 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 and I thought I love it I'm gonna I, I was speaking to the other half and I said I'll go speak to her and she won't best please but, <laughs> but we, 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 we set stipulations yep. of budget and everything yep. and I went and had a look and here we are <laughs> yeah exactly straight into it and that's a good yeah. thing about the press release stuff because I did I did videos as well on my channel I was literally yeah. like oh look at this 45 it looks great it was a slightly I think it was called Dolphin Grey don't don't quote me on it but yeah. it was like um, it was a di slightly different grey yeah that your car which looks great by the way it's the same grey as the guy that I chatted to last week yeah um, moon, um, uh, moon, moonstone, moonstone grey, grey. Yeah. and it's like um, I'm pretty sure it's like a flat solid paint not metallic it's but not it's metallic, got but it is more money yeah it is <laughs> that's how they well, they always get you on yeah. that don't they so what um yeah so what sort of options were you thinking for on well, this well I, I wanted the i wanted the dcc after researching it because yeah because the cooper had dcc yeah at the very least oh really okay yeah. so okay yeah so you you knew what it was like okay for well, as soon as you put well you, you had options and you, as soon as you put in cooper you know yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. uh i wanted the panoramic roof but when you look at the option price list the sky's the yeah. limit, isn't it? You start adding on another grand for that, mm -hmm. a grand for that, grand. It's like and heated seats. I mean, I've got a heated steering wheel, but I haven't got a heated seat. Last guy told me that as well. I don't understand it. Why, why, I've never a heated seat. Why, <laughs> why are they doing that? It's like okay, I get it. Your hands get cold, but that's that's weird. Yeah. I, I do know you get um you get cool seats as well on the on Can the Golf you? R. So that's quite a new addition. That definitely wasn't in the Mark Mark Sevens. But then again, Money. every every well, <laughs> every day, every week, I was looking on YouTube see if I could find videos videos on and there was some burgundy uh, 45s on there oh okay uh, yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, and everyone said the same the steering wheel is hideous you know you can press things by accident but ha i haven't yeah. yeah no it seemed okay and you did you briefly mentioned when i went for a drive that it wasn't as responsive no uh, initially when yeah. you turn is that just because things are booting up yeah so <laughs> it's you, like a pc if you turn it on and then and the radio is going on you, you don't want the radio on yeah. or like now it's muted when i turn it on again it'll be on so then you try mute it again and yeah, it takes a, a few minutes. Yeah, it's like um, a lot of these things can be software coded out, I yeah. reckon. I reckon is um, like if you went to your service next year or something, they'll be like, oh yeah, we've got this new update, which means, guess what? You, your car, car is responsive when it turns on and stuff. Well, well there were issues with the gearbox, weren't there, software? Yeah, I mean, I definitely when the first one I drove, and I, I drove it in February, April, and a week before I drove a Golf 8R, gearbox was fantastic. Drove this GTI Club Sport and he told me before he'd had it back at the dealer because he was finding it weird. Yeah. And it was only when I was doing it, I was like, what is it doing? It was just not, it just felt just felt all over the place. Mm. And I, I just couldn't get it. And since then he's had software updates, software recalls, which it's a weird way, isn't it? It's like, yeah, let's solve a car by just plugging in a computer. Um, <laughs> well, it's a cheap way. <laughs> it is a much cheaper way. It's so cost effective. Yeah. Um, but so you haven't had, you haven't found any sort of initial niggles on your sort of early ownership? No, not really, no. I'm, I'm pretty laid back when it comes to stuff. You just, you just get on with it. You, again, you, uh, I say this to a lot of people that I speak to, but I guess you're with similar interests, similar type of people. Yeah. I'm the same. I, I, I'm just sort of like, cruise and that's why I like a golf as well you know it's just the silly thing is you're not allowed to use your phone in yep. the car which is fair enough but you are allowed to use a touch screen touch screen everything <laughs> yeah I mean this is like a full-on iPad you yeah. know from 10 years ago this would be a computer so it's just like yeah so if you drive and you're trying you like to try to click climate control and then it's, yeah, it's a 70 miles an hour it's <laughs> like uh, how many accidents are they gonna have from it so Options wise, you reckon DCC, yeah, and um, what what else do you kind of think was, was uh, key? Well, DCC definitely wanted that, and uh, pan roof was like roof, a little. Yeah, that was a if I, if it was reasonable. 
the winter pack. I was, I was thinking about that just, but but saying that, I very rarely use the heated seats in the coupe. You, you know what? On heated seats, and I don't know if any of my audience are the same. I often find like you know when you initially get into the car, it's freezing cold early morning. Yeah. You'd have it on, but you have it on for like five minutes, and then you find yourself turning it down to the lowest setting yeah. or turning it off because you naturally get you get hot anyway when you drive, and the vents and stuff warm up. So yeah, I'm not. Well, you feel like you've had an accident as well. Yeah, 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 exactly, exactly. I actually, um, I don't know if it was on the GTI Club Sport, but I know you can get it on the Golf 8R. Yeah. The cooled seats. Yeah. I, um, I, the first time I experienced those was when I was on track in a Porsche 911 um, a couple of years ago. And particularly when you're, you're hammering it, yeah. they were the best things ever. Like, I, normally your back sweated, you're sort of stressed out. It's really, really nice. And I, I can imagine if you're really driving this hard, not that you can drive it so hard on the road, but you know what I mean. Yeah. It's something that could be quite good. But yeah, yeah I wouldn't be, wouldn't be too worried about losing the heated seats. No. And one thing, the, the black roof, which we kind of mentioned, I reckon if you did go for a pan roof, you'd lose that. I reckon you, you'd lose the lines. And, yeah. yeah, it's yeah. all about that. <laughs> and then you've got the, the hood. Head up hood display. display, yeah. Does that come with stand? No. So they that, would, that would okay. be an extra. Okay, so you haven't gone for no, that? No, I haven't. Okay, no. so I've seen that. I saw that on the Golf oh, that I drove a couple of weeks ago. I liked it. Again, it's like these things where, is it essential for the drive? No. <laughs> I'm, and I kind of mentioned it. This will be, I'll do a couple of videos probably on this, um, me driving and just, just general sort of thoughts on it. For me, the tyres wheels dcc sorting yeah. out that suspension is the key thing and i really do like like it's, is it goodyear i think it's goodyear super sports on this i'll, yeah. I'll clarify it if i'm wrong yeah, eagle f1. eagle f1s yeah. 19 inch wheels with dcc you feel like i can 100 percent say this felt like it drove a lot better than the standard club sport um don't get me wrong you could get a, a standard club sport 19 inch wheels stick these wheels on it get it with dcc and it's the same car so i'm not saying it's like i'm sure i've read that the camber's different it's lower do you everything. think they've actually done little bits yeah. without saying okay i I'm i sure can... i've read that okay it you have felt, to look into it, it. <laughs> I'll, I'll have to look into it and i'll probably have to try another club sport and the thing the great thing is i'd love to uh, keep in touch keep in touch with yourself yeah. keep in touch with all the people that i speak to on this channel um and sort of revisit it in, in months to come um, but that that is interesting. So, the I guess the only thing inside that is kind of you get the forty five on the wheel, That's which, it. which a, a, a clip on, a, cl a, clip on <laughs> a clip on little bit for your uh, for your hard yeah. hard work. For you would you would think they put forty five stitching in the seats. We that's what we thought. Just to put a GTI is a little bit yeah weird. And um, yeah, sorry, go on. Uh, well, they'd put these in the club spot. You would think or the GTI. Yeah. Yeah. And then 45 in this. But I mean, like, it, the, we, know, we know it's this cost kind of thing. You can imagine VW at their dealership going, we want to save as much cost. Three letters is a lot easier. They could easily put like a 45. They mm. could easily, they could have just put a 45. Yeah, that's all. Less. <laughs> um, you get, um, I've kind of read this, you get a little bit of leather on the, the side. I don't yeah. think that's in standard one, but then that's cloth. That's cloth and the other one's is, leather. With, and the other one's leather. Yeah. So I I don't understand it at all. They go through, VW go through weird periods where they just throw stuff in. Like a lot of people commented me when I got my Mark 7, they were like, why is your mirror frameless? Yeah. That's only on the facelift. And I was like, yeah, you're right. But they literally just put it on mm. because mine was like a last run. So you can just, it's like a parts bin thing. They're like, oh yeah, that you can have that'll that. Do. Yeah, <laughs> that, that'll do. We, we were selling that car now. And then, yeah, you see another 2016 Golf R. You've got this big, bulky, um, yeah, not not necessarily as nice. Um, so that's cool. So you know, like I said earlier, no metal sills. Yeah, we, we were saying that. So a few little things where they could have easily put Club Sport 45. Yeah. Just, just to make it, stand out a little bit more than it does exactly and i hope i mean if you check on like ebay or something like that i reckon you might be able to find something i won't want to do that. yeah no that's I, the I, problem. I know what you mean it's like it's a shame that they haven't done a few more bits particularly inside like i'm as early as last week i was sitting in a club sport talking to another owner there's there's limited i'm seeing the 45 and this this is nice to be fair and that's where your arm goes yeah um so i'll go for that on the door cards um, I'm not too sure why that's not leather. Not the end of the world, but yeah. <laughs> it's... But does this other sub club spot have the honeycomb? Yeah. yeah. So you it, think it's, that would be different? Yeah, exactly. That That is literally, it is exactly the same, um, which, which is which is fine. But so you get quite a lot of standard though on yeah. this car, yeah. don't you? So you're talking the 19 inch wheels are standard. Yeah. 
that's got to be a fair bit of money. Another eight hundred pound, maybe. Uh, yeah, yeah. E- easily BW money, isn't yeah. it? Better tyres and stuff on it. You said wireless charging. Wireless charging. That that would be extra because it's BW. Acrophobic exhaust. We know, three we know, grand. Three <laughs> grand, and you're yeah. getting that. You start adding these up, and you're like, okay, well, this is a car that's probably four grand. Should be four, maybe even five grand more. For, yeah. Let's just say four grand more than a normal club sport. But list, there was about a grand in it. Yeah. So you're sort of like, and this car is limited. Can't buy it anymore. I d- I've got. I've literally got a video as we speak going tomorrow. Mm. And yeah, forty-eight thousand pounds for this car. Well, <laughs> I'm curious how many they've made. That's what I want to know. Maybe 45. <laughs> can, can well, you, if it is, then I'm not leaving they, it out. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Lock this up. Ne- it never goes out. No more miles. Um, I think you're going to see a lot less golf R's, standard club sports than normal. And as a result, they... And I was having a good chat with the other guy, the previous um, club sport owner, and a few other people, to be fair, just kind of messaged me. And VW are very much like we've got to prioritise where we make our money. So of course they're like, well, we've got all these computer chips, let's put them in the R lines, let's yeah. put them in the standard Golf 8s because we make so much money on those. These little really hard to build, bit more bespoke cars, yeah. it's like, and for, for people who like watch my channel and enjoy their cars, far and few between, particularly, you know, particularly in the, the day and age we're in. So. Yeah, I think that's certainly certainly one thing to mention. But I, I've driven it. I, I absolutely loved it. Um, yeah, how have you found it? It's particularly as you come from the Cooper, I guess, as well. Oh, I really, I really enjoy it. So it's, I really, might just be because it's automatic. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it's just easy. And the gear, gearbox yeah. felt good, didn't yeah. it? it? There was, yeah. And like you said, flappy paddles. If you want to, yeah. If you want to get involved, you yeah. can get involved. I love. Um, although I've kind of said it before, it's electric, so you don't you've probably noticed that as you've gone through your generation of cars it's like suddenly you're like oh it's just like you yeah it's got no real feel to the wheel yeah. but the actual steering wheel is really really nice like yeah, it, it gives gives you that proper it's bulky it's it's yeah. a bit bulky yeah. well, actually, but i mean in a good way in in, in the right way yeah. yeah and then if you're sort of like nine and six it, it feels good it's certainly from mine which is a bit more flat bottom and a little bit of a different sort of shape yeah. mine's probably more gt kind of cruiser yeah um, but they had that wheel across the range. Um, yeah, I, I I think it's great. And a lot of people have kind of, I suppose, thinking back in the comments, they've sort of said, like, the Acrobridge exhaust to a standard car. Um, I, I'm really interested to know what, what you kind of think, just from what you've kind of heard and what you've kind of, like, seen online and stuff as well. But I would say they there's not that much difference in terms of like volume no. or in terms of like the different sort of bangs that it makes when you lift off at the right speed um but you do when you when you're quite up close you're sort of listening in you just it's a little bit more premium it's just that little bit more it just looks better and it looks it look just, you'd go for the looks i've yeah. tried to get pipes just to look like acrophobic or ride but you can't get them <laughs> which is yeah. which is annoying that's the, that's the problem we just stainless steel back but it just looks like toilet roll yeah, tubes yeah oh, <laughs> don't it, there's yeah it, it's weird but it's a proper and it's glad i'm glad vw did it because they didn't have to go to like a and they could have done something in-house like golf performance and it would have yeah. just been this rubbish exhaust but akropovich it's proper serious system titanium system mm. lighter yep. i mean i don't i mean i'm not going to start saying that that's why it handles so much better no but, you know, it's, it is lighter. All adds up. It all, oh, it, it reduces it. Yeah, it all adds up. You pan roof, you're adding kilos for that. So, yeah. I, I yeah, I do get the 45 a lot more than, yeah, a lot more than I probably thought, actually. Um, before, if I was, you know, if you talked to me a couple of months ago, I would have said, I just like driving, just get standard club sport. But if you don't want to be, you know, picking, you know, you want the 19-inch wheels, you can't get an Acrobridge exhaust, you want that limited run like you said i will try and find out how many they've done 45s yeah. they've done or they are doing i don't know if it's randomly suddenly going to appear again it possibly that, that's the thing year. yeah like they'll randomly be like oh 45 back and it's like oh interesting but with upgrades <laughs> oh, don't well no they'll take <laughs> a bigger st- engine or no, something. They'll, they'll take stuff away and they'll increase the price yeah and you got in at, um at a time when the car well so, yeah, as soon as it were released i, I went that's pretty it. much and that's the the right well that's the right thing that's the right way to do it and you couldn't have obviously foreseen what <laughs> would have happened in the car market yeah. but like anything i would shop like like i said to you i went to my local garage yep there wasn't they told me a price and there they wasn't interest in budging and uh, it, even when i went 
elsewhere. I went back to him and says, I can get it for this price. Are you prepared to match it? No. You, you know what? I've had the exact same experience. I've gone, I've literally gone to dealers with my paperwork of yeah. like different printouts. I'm like, look, this car is for sale at this price. Mm. And they're sort of like, yeah, but this is the main dealer. And it's like, you, so they're, 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 <laughs> they're not, they're, they've got their margins, they've got their overheads. And just literally shop shop around is mm. the best thing you can do and, and be patient although you can't really you couldn't have been patient on this because if no. you were I wouldn't have, yeah. you wouldn't have been able to get it and I mean honestly I'd have an hour probably <laughs> yeah, yeah you'd probably be sitting in, a, in an 8R um, oh, I'm just thinking because obviously we, we've had that sort of great drive I love the roads please please if you have a club sport or even an 8R or a 45 take, take it for an, a nice drive don't, don't, don't just have it sitting there just enjoy it um, because it was great. It was like it was in its home. Yeah. Um, we had like um, proper sort of like bumpy surfaces, and DCC. And I know people have kind of some people have got a bit upset in the comments about DCC because they haven't got it on their car. Mm. I, I'm not saying your car is awful if it doesn't have DCC, but from, it just enhances. The from my experience, from the DCC that I tried on the Golf 8R, which I'm actually driving again tomorrow the, mm. the guy's happy to meet up so that's great um, and to have the DCC on this a 19 inch wheel car is so so comfy it's so easy and because of that you, you don't feel as scared that on a narrow road um, you're going to like skip off mm. you're going to hit something and you, it's going to be a bit scary at 60 miles an hour or something you just feel like the car is settled in it, it feels great and it's really interesting you coming from the Cupra with DCC so you kind of knew you were mm. like oh that's the one to go for whereas I, I never knew I never knew this D, you know yeah. I, I, it was sort of like a well, if, if I'm honest I, I, before I looked at this I did look at the Cupras the new ones but my opinion of that now is they've diluted the brand you know you know what it's, that, it's, it is that kind of like um, it's a phase thing yeah. isn't it like, go for the Cupras go for the Cupras and they're getting on a bit on money. They're not. Yes, they are. <laughs> and at RRP, it's quite a lot. Okay, you will get your discounts on your Cooper. It's probably mm. a lot more than you would for, well, definitely more than, <laughs> than a 45. Um, but yeah, no, I think um, I think you definitely did the right thing kind of moving into a 45. <laughs> but I would generally say you did the right thing, even if the market wasn't weird. Mm. This is the last, the last. The Golf GTI 50, what is that going to be? It's going to be Electric. a crack. Yeah. It's going to be so, so bad. It's going to be so disappointing. I'm not going to be meeting any owners <laughs> with a 50. They're going to be like, it's going to be quiet. And um, I, so it's going to be a scale electric crack. It, it literally, <laughs> it, it's, it's such a shame. And there's no, there's going to be no difference between any car. No. Between a Tesla, between a Golf, the between a, a Cayman. Taken. It's going to be like, oh, let, yeah, let's start that up. It's that washing machine, fridge freezer type sound. Um, and you get that crazy launch, and then you're done. You, you like that? That is it. You hear more road noise because you don't have the sound of a, a nice engine. Yeah. Nice engine. I mean, this is this is turbocharged. I think it sounds good. A lot of pumped through. You get, you get sort of like the, the artificial. Well, not artificial because it's real noise, just mm. enhanced. And then you get the proper real noise from the pops and bangs, which I can tell you for a fact, my car doesn't make as loud a pops and bangs <laughs> as that at all. Um, so I, I, I imagine that the moment you picked it up and you drove it away, you were pretty yeah, happy. Yeah, that I would do it there. <laughs> pretty happy. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like, oh, that, that, that's different. What were your, like, because um, obviously, like others, you, you had to wait quite yeah, a while. Yeah. That was the thing. What was it kind of like? Um, were you sort of having any second thoughts? Were you having any more expectations? Yeah, I, I was having second thoughts. And uh, I, to be honest, the garage rung me and says, oh, within four weeks, the rung me. says, oh, you might be looking at end of next next week or next so so then I started ringing him, like pestering him slightly. <laughs> but then, then I got that letter that everyone got, which, you know, from VW. So that's the one that I read out yeah, on my channel as I well. I got that as well. Okay, so that did go it. But I one. thought I got that because I was pestering him. He's like, shut up and go away. Everyone sort of thing. got it. Okay. So then I just I just thought, well, I'll just wait. Uh, then I was looking, looking online and people were saying, whoever buys the 45 just got more money than cents, blah, blah, blah. That's What's the point? But it's like it, I think those people well most of those people aren't going to have a 45 no. fundamentally because you can't get one um, and if you did want one you probably should have ordered it before I, I have had a few other people who've said oh I'm getting my 45 hopefully later this year you know yeah. all this kind of stuff which is great um, I 
I, I get it. If you're if you're not a petrol head and you're not really into your into your stuff, just yeah, just get a club sport. You get an absolute standard mm. club sport and you'll love it. You'll have ninety five percent of the fun. Um, but you know, life's pretty short. I think forty five is actually yeah, is pretty well, it, is if, special. If you took the stickers off the side, which again I'm not much of a fan of. Um, it works well on the paint. Yeah. I, I, I mean, I think if you, um, you get like King's Red, can't you? You can get some proper. Yeah, it looks there. like a burgundy colour. Yeah, 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 exactly. Um, uh, yeah. And, and then white, black. I don't know if you can get black, can you? Just white and pearl white. Yeah, there's there's more colours that you can get in the R's. Yeah. Don't know, don't get me started on why they, they, they've done that. It's, it's very, very strange. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I'm, I'm certainly, I'm a, I'm a fan of the stripes. I'm, I've got to be honest. I think. Um, you know, when um, I always get that first impression because when I came into this car park, I was like, oh, where is he? Where is he? Saw an M2 comp with its massive big cow udder exhaust. <laughs> it's udders. <laughs> it's udders <laughs> on a 20 plate, which probably cost the owner 55 grand and if gets about more, 10 yeah. miles per gallon. Smiles and, per and, gallon. And, and, yeah, <laughs> and then he couldn't drive it as fast as we could on these roads. Um, <laughs> but um, love M2 comps, by the way, but I, yeah, I. I'd still rather day to day rather be sitting in this. Mm. Um, yeah, because I never asked you your spec either. I never said like, oh, is it in grey? Is it in? Is it in white? Is it in whatever? Obviously, I have a grey car. Yeah. I've got kind of like a thing for for going for that sort of subtle looks. I I think if you're not into your cars, you wouldn't look twice at the car. No. Okay, it's got a wing. It's got black roof and stuff. Nice wheels. Well, well, okay, that's actually one thing. What do you think about the pinstripe on the wheel, the red pinstripe? Oh, I think that it does stand out, but if you curb it, you're still... You're, yeah, yeah. you're in trouble. <laughs> yeah. On on pictures, yeah. I would probably say it looks worse than it does in person. Yeah. I think in person, particularly when you... It's a nice feel, it's nice feel. You cleaned them up, or you did clean them up before, yeah. <laughs> before, before, before we uh, we came here. Um, I like them. I'm, I'm a yeah. fan. I'm, I'm a massive fan. So, well, I went past the Porsche. Porsche has the same, an older Porsche. And I'm wondering if they were the same wheels, but I don't think they are. No, they're, they're, well, I mean, the thing is, it's all, Porsche, it's all part of the same yeah, group. exactly. They will literally share parts because that's just what they do. So it wouldn't, wouldn't really surprise me. And, and that's why I talk about this in terms of like, there's my, my Golf R sitting there, and a GTI sitting here. I compare it to like, that's a 911 Turbo, it's a GC3. Yeah. That, and that's how I think they position it. Okay. It, there's obviously is differences in, in that sort of sort of comparison. Yeah. Um, but no, I, I I completely get this car, and I will 100% say before I'd met up with the first owner a couple of months ago, I did not understand the club sport at all. I was like, just get an R, don't even think about it. Mm. And now I'm like, okay, different cars, they they each have their own their own proper qualities, and this is as limited as kind of you well, really get the Golf R the new one's underrated in power anyway it the, is, they say it? it's 320 but it's not it's what, 340, 340, yeah. 340 345 this, this so we're hoping this we're going to be the same but I don't think it is <laughs> it definitely okay it may, it's a little bit from the traction well, you've got yeah. a little bit of wheel spin on um, it's a I mean, tiny bit of drizzle today but it's not too bad um, but it's I mean this this shifts mm. and Golfs have this unfortunate thing particularly if you're in a quiet mode of going very very fast without you noticing it's yeah. moving at all and um, the downsides of not having a massive like R32 3.2 litre engine yeah you can tell by the sound straight away <laughs> you're like oh and even if you're not going fast you mm. feel like you are um, but I love how this car proper entertains you mm. that's the thing like we, we were saying when you're when you're on it it's like the car knows and it's like okay I'm not gonna play around with some fancy bangs on the exhaust you're just gonna go for it yeah but when you're sort of like at 30 miles an hour, down into second, in between three and four, bang, 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 bang. It's like, it's such a, it's such a thing that makes you smile. Particularly those are the periods, particularly for me, you're sitting in traffic, it's just rubbish. You think, why have I got this car? <laughs> what would it just, the roads are awful and everything. Well, I, I have, we have this conversation at work all yeah. the time. You, you only drive it to and from work. And then it's sat in the car park or sat on your Don't, drive. Yeah. So why do you, why do we spend so much money on cars a month? I know. For a bit just to be sat there. But then that, that's why I like coming here. Or I mean, you said you've got decent roads where you yeah. are. I, I wish I had better roads where I, where I live. To be honest, I think um, that's. And unfortunately, more cars on the road now. Yeah. There are you, you know where it's going, don't you? You know where it's going to be a case where we're just going to be in this end to end, aren't we? Yeah. So while you can. 
just just definitely do it. I mean, do you have any sort of like, um, I mean, you, you said if you're offered 50 grand, you'd probably yeah, take it. Yeah, if you're offered 50, they, they <laughs> can and have it. I'll tell you what, people, people probably would. I, I saw, um, I, I scheduled videos all over the place. Focus RS, Heritage, mm. 18 plate, 80 grand. 80 <sighs> grand from a dealer. And there's a couple in the 70s. And I'm just like, and they've left all the protective packaging and all this sort of safety. And I'm like, it's a Ford, it's a Ford Focus, it's a Mark III. So it, it's protecting like really cheap stuff. I'm like, 80,000, who is gonna walk into a Ford dealer and pay 80,000 for that? Someone will. Some Someone will. Be, uh, the I mean, rally petrol heads, I mean, that's heritage. Far, <laughs> fast forwards have such a good following, me yeah. included. And for 80 grand, I mean, you can get, well, it's two of these. Struggle. Well, look at the old XR2s and the, uh, you know. They, exactly, they've gone gone absolutely through the roof. And I don't like it because it means that those cars don't get, don't get driven. Yeah, You'll see loads of those Focus RSs and even ones which are just the standard ones. I'm seeing people just don't use them no. because it's like, it's it's holding or staying in money. So why would you want to have a high miler? Yeah. Or why would you want to risk crashing it? Why, <laughs> yeah, exactly, into, exactly yeah. With, um, with something like that. But think your cars need to be need to be driven. They need to be liked. They need to, you know, you, you have to enjoy them. Yeah, hundred percent. You have to enjoy them. I mentioned it last week as well, and I said sometimes you kind of got to watch your mileage a little bit, and that was mainly because I was doing like twelve thousand miles a year. I was going in and out of London. Yeah, awful in London. People drive absolutely crazy. As soon as you go past the line and you hit um, the North Circular everyone just goes nuts it's just like a complete um chaos yeah exactly so you're all stressed out you know you, you, traffic's awful anyway and i was doing so much of that and in eco because i just wanted to chew, chill out it was uh, like sort of having an effect on the car mm. and i was like oh, this isn't making it good as soon as lockdown happened and as soon as we were allowed to eventually drive again i was like this car's amazing and um, I'm sure you much prefer doing the drives that we've done today yeah. than you would have done well, your you, ha you, <laughs> you have to drive a car quickly. Oh, yeah, 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 to under if, if, understand if, where yeah, it is. Yeah, if you're just dawdling it, it'll, it will damage the engine, yeah, I think. Yeah, getting through different gears, yeah. going through that kind of things. And I, funny enough, I was thinking that actually driving up, I was like, I've been at cruise at this speed for like two hours. <laughs> I need to uh, I need to mix it up a little bit. But like when, you, when you're bedding them in, uh, I read some people said don't go over 3,000 RPM. Other people say uh, you've got to go every three front rev range. The, the, these would have been benched before. They they, sure. they they would never have given you a car which wouldn't have had some sort of um, sort of mileage in it. Piston flies out. Oh yeah, yeah, so, so, so it flies out. The the only thing that I think is the big thing, and I, I obviously more than go easy on your car because it's um, you know it's your, your pride and joy. Um, warping the discs is something that people do early on within the first thousand miles because they get in the car hammer it. absolutely hammer the brakes and if you do that when the when the disc is new you're just gonna you're just gonna mess it up and then you're gonna have a new need a new set of discs and these are proper sorted discs as well <laughs> they're like i mean i think they're I, are they 360 370 mil i mean I haven't they're, looked. they're, they're, <laughs> they're, they're, they're big, bigger than the last ones drilled and they stop and, yeah. and it, it's, it stops so so well and the car's a little bit lighter than the R it's got hard brakes um, I know this might not be the most interesting stuff but like tyres I really really do think that makes a difference it's the, it definitely it, does it's <laughs> the main thing that keeps you from it's the, dying it's, it's, the, it's the only thing if, if, we, if we had some eco crap tyres on here yeah. this, this car you would notice it the ride would be worse drive would be worse we're doing this from a field we'd be, we, we were saying we'd be off somewhere in the mountains in the peak district you'd just see an upside down 45 which would would not be good um, yeah, welcome to my channel yeah yeah, hey, okay, yeah my um yeah one of my early q and a's yeah there's the car up into the distance um probably probably would get be crying next to it the thing is it'd probably get a million views and i could use the the money yeah. from adsense to to help repair your car maybe well if only if only youtube worked that way <laughs> um, it used to, didn't it? It, it used to, it really did used to. People yeah. were extremely rich from it. But no, I um, yeah, I hundred percent get it. I I, I guess the, these kind of chats are just like, if you're waiting for a forty-five, keep waiting because yeah, you're, you're going to have a great car, yeah, yeah. a really really great car. Um, the things that make the difference for me, wheels, nineteen inch. Yeah. You were saying it, it makes it a little bit firmer. Yeah. But you counteract that and like bat it out of the way with DCC. Yeah. Um, and it's like 
th there's a reason why like when these cars are sort of hammering it around the Nurburgring and the Nurburgring setting which is your default or Nurburgring or Eco isn't it yeah. Eco or the boatway Nurburgring on um, or not um, yeah that, that soft suspension yeah. so it's like uh, that's what you want my only gripe of it on the motorway is when you, you put your foot down the kick is slow it like throws you forward then it throws you back is it like it's sort of learning it's sort of it's sort of had half an hour of you being gentle and then it needs to sort of like get into the rhythm of things i guess possibly i don't know what it is it's like it takes a deep breath and then it <laughs> then it sends you on your way and that's when you want to yeah. want to fly yeah, yeah that that is um it is a little bit of a weird thing i yeah i i do get that and it's and i guess again they they make these cars to just be to just be chilled it can just live on live on motorways if you yeah. wanted it to um but obviously a car like this is is certainly to, to be driven i can't get over the color i i really liked i like the moonstone gray on the club sport the yeah. standard one 18 inch wheels or whatever things like the black roof black door mirrors as yeah. well black wheels black just, wheels yeah. I'm sold, like yeah. literally, and because I've seen so many pictures of this and I did so many videos on it, to actually see it in first, and I'm like, oh, is it going to be as good? I'm like, yeah, it's good. It's like it's like they they finally tick all the right stuff to yeah. just make it right. But the pictures, yeah, you say the pictures didn't do it justice. You, you, you can't really get yeah. a, get a good feel for a car uh, as much as my videos and stuff can hopefully help. Um, yeah, it's it's a very nice looking car was there any other like colors that you were thinking of or were you sort of well, like uh, you, you mentioned the, the initial launch color yeah the you? initial the launch color that's the color i wanted okay so it's like a, a gunmetal gray or whatever yeah. it was so yeah yeah yeah, yeah. I, I, but when you when you go to the shop and no we don't do that color <laughs> well well this is i want it like this picture <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's exactly. what i said i want it why, like this picture why are you selling me that <laughs> yeah. and i don't know i mean i don't know the 45 it's only europe i think i mean i don't know it, it's, it's obviously got, yeah america does yeah yeah it wouldn't, okay. wouldn't, wouldn't, wouldn't be in the states i don't know if in like germany they'd do that sort of color or something well strange. you could still order them in europe i think it's just the uk yeah. <laughs> we're just obsessed yeah. with um, high performance cars and yeah, yeah. And, getting, and getting them in but like i was saying to you earlier about the gap insurance i, I chose the, the highest one yep replace the vehicle yep but if they don't make them no more, how do I replace well, the vehicle? What do you do? <laughs> exactly. And, and, that's, and you would never expect that. You just ordered a Golf. Yeah. It's brand new. It's like, yeah, we don't sell this car anymore and we're not going to make it again. Yeah, so I imagine they would just, yeah, I don't know what they'd do. I'll you, you'd have, to, you'd have to speak to them. Have, have a little chat. Um, yeah, gap insurance in one of these, yes. Any, any new car? Just, any new. I, yeah. I had gap insurance on mine. Don't have it now. No. I've had it for, for three, four years or whatever. Um, so cost it is. It's not 300, yeah. it costs 360. You will that. feel so much more relaxed when yeah. you drive the car. For reference, people don't understand gap insurance. It will basically, it will give you your list price back, essentially. Yeah. Well, yeah, if the insurance it. give you 10 grand and you owe 20, the gap will do the 10 and to make, so you don't owe nothing. And you've got that for a couple of years yeah. or whatever. It's like, no brainer, 100% it, do it. Because uh, you're going to be upset paying monthly insurance for nothing. Well, exactly, <laughs> exactly. Month, it, Insurance will never, never help you out. They want to, they want to make their money. Well, finance insurance. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it, it's all the same thing. Yeah. So, so no, that, that's, um, that's definitely a good thing. I don't think there's anything. Um, I was just trying to briefly, as I'm looking at the dials, I don't think there's anything special in the tech no, no. which is specific to a 45. Like even the Golf, that's a standard. Yeah, you would, you would think that'd be in a 45. <laughs> they haven't, they haven't got it. And I get, I like um, kind of talking away from the tech because it's like. It's not what the car's about. It does its job. Yeah. You know, it feels. I, I actually like how it's all integrated. Actually, with like the the. I, re I really like these where the lock. That's cool. Yeah. So there's there's no there's, there's no, no messing up and around. Down, yeah. The touch sensitive stuff of the stuff that you yeah. use is actually quite quite nice and easy to do. You know, you, you go for mode. You go for yeah. your ring. Um, you got you got like your park assist stuff. Yeah, they match match how you turn it off. Oh, right. yeah, we worked it <laughs> out. Uh, lane assist is my biggest bugbear. I had it. When I drove my friend's Corsa, I had it on the last club sport, I had it on this. It's, I think it's dangerous. It is, it, it can be. I, I, if a car pulls out on you on the motorway and you're trying to avoid it, it brings you back towards it. Like, yep, no, you're not getting it. <laughs> it overrides, and you forget what, I, yeah, you know what, I always think with um, the way with tech, I don't know what your thoughts are as well, you either need to be one way or the other, you either need to be Tesla way, just everything it, it does it everything yeah. automatic Autonomous. or you just need you drive the car <laughs> um yeah that, that that's what i think and it, it is annoying it comes on every time isn't it yeah yeah, yeah. It's just, just 
Standard, yeah. Uh, but then you know, you get into a routine of like, oh yeah, turn off, turn off. To, to be fair, I, I don't worry about it much. When, when, you're, <laughs> when you're not on it, when yeah. you're not having some fun, it's probably not the end of the yeah, world. No. But I noticed it on that where I was like, oh, I wanted to go a little bit further wide because I knew it was clear. Yeah. And the car's just like, no. And I'm like, well, that just unsettles things. You're like, well, what am I doing here? <laughs> if you're just, if you're, you know, you've got the auto gearbox, you know, you're, you're driving yourself, basically. Yeah. Um, oh, I, can't, I can't stop smiling. I still can't. I'm so glad you reached out as well, by the way, because I was like, I genuinely, even from the first car that I drove, I never thought I'd get the chance to try a 45, particularly as soon as it went off sale, because a lot of owners, and I, I was very thinking like, oh, imagine if it was like classic British weather. <laughs> you bring your 600 mile old 45, which doesn't get made, it gets absolutely troused by the weather. I'd just be like, I know, I know, I know it's a car, but it's like, yeah, it's, it's, not, it's not ideal. Is, is there anything that in your early mileage that you haven't liked about the 45 I suppose no. as opposed, there's nothing that sort of no. come up no, like I say I'm used to the front wheel drive with power I, do, I, does, I, does it feel quicker than your Cupra yeah it does okay. but, but the Cupra just wheel spun for fun you could be <laughs> you could be 60 mile an hour going up a, a slip road but you, and it's still wheel spinning do you think that's the manual a little bit in first yeah yeah because yeah. they, they, they changed the ratios of like torque and power on the gearbox I'm, I'm pretty sure so in like the manual even you, in fourth it wheel spun Honestly, that's weird. When it were damp, yeah. I mean, we had a little bit of, little bit in this, but it, mm. it wasn't it wasn't too bad. No, like you, you could you could imagine if you were really on it, tires getting warm, it just would be absolutely hooked up. Well, you, well, you see it on a on on websites like giveaway websites, raffles, and they've got Copras for five hundred brake costs, and you think, good luck. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't. I I know people say, and you can't actually you can't map these cars because they're locked down at the moment. Are they? Yeah, yeah. So I've heard that tuning companies are really funny enough. VW noticed that loads of independents were fiddling around with their cars, and they're like, no, we're just going to lock it down. I'm <laughs> I'm very much a stock. Person, my golf bar stock. Yeah, this is stock. What, why? Why would you change something which, again, everyone each their own and everything. But plenty. Of, I'm pretty sure VW spent a lot of time testing this car. <laughs> yeah. Why? Why mess? Why mess it? Okay. There's tolerance in terms of yes, it could have more power. Um, but this is this is this is never going to break on you. No. If, if you genuinely, you could have this 20 years. You do oil and filter service, and it'll still probably be fine. Well, we know it can go to 340. Oh yeah, yeah, power. Yeah, exactly, exactly. The goal fast type power, um, but it's that right sort of balance. And I, I just love these cars in the sense that it's like, you know, I, we could be sitting in here in sort of like a sports car, a supercar. Mm. Can't you just coming up into this car park? You'd be like, oh, the front. Oh my god. Oh no, it's this. It's that. It's that. It's like this is the golf. It does it. There's no worries. That it literally, and it, you can really hustle it. Yeah. Yeah. That, that that was that was the cool thing as well. Um, oh, yeah, I'm just yeah gritting ear to ear. Was there any? Um, so you mentioned that you there was some points where you sort of like not too sure about going for the 45. Or, no. so you, or you literally just like as soon as you ordered it, there was no no doubt in your mind. Like I say, I was looking online and people were saying it's exactly the same as the club spot. Yeah, exactly. Including me, <laughs> mechanically wise. Um, but no, I like I like to get something that someone else hasn't got. If you know what I mean. I'm, I'm exactly the same. Like the R32, I know there's, there's they're around, but well, it's it, something different. Exactly, go go for something unique. And, and mm. the good thing is, is like a normal club sport is unique in a sense anyway from yeah. a normal GTI, and a GTI is unique from a normal golf. But then you keep turning it up a notch, and I mean I I can't believe they took this off sale, and I can only imagine it is generally to to do with like the computer chip and supply issue, um, but if they never go back on sale and the thing the thing that better I mean, for me <laughs> well it is 100% better for any 45 owner 100% better because I was looking um, on the site on VW's UK site there's nothing that even mentions it like there's no you know how they sometimes have like pictures mm -hmm. of the GTI but it's like no that's a normal club sport oh, that's a normal GTI but talking about the R yeah they don't no. They they've sort of hit their limit and sort of like let's not bother because if they if they if they're squeezing every penny out of everyone, even clipping that forty five there is probably not worth the uh, the extra money <laughs> that they're doing on their production line. And they're like, no, it's, it's, well, if they're making enough on ours. Why do they need to bother? Well, ex exactly. That that's a fair point. And on on sort of like the pace wise, I think in the real world, 
particularly on a dry day, there's there's nothing in it between this and that. Well, I did watch. I think you, you, one of your previous yeah. Q&As, you watched the same video as me, the Cooper. Yeah, this, uh, yeah, I did. Uh, <laughs> and, and I, it was a really short track. Yeah, windy yeah, track, yeah. and the 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 R would have, I think, understeering a lot. Whereas heavy, this yeah. and the Cooper would have flying around. It's heavier. This this like because it's um obviously l less weight at the back mm. you don't even get spare wheels in these cars no you don't do you? it's so, all with bags in yeah, yeah, yeah exactly <laughs> as you can fit your stuff so it's quite obviously nose nose heavy and then you, you get a bit more play at the back whereas the Golf R it's, it's the simple fact is it's more neutral yeah. the weight is there is it still a Haldex system in there it's still a Haldex system but they've just obviously they've tweaked it with their torque vectoring mm. uh, all this kind of strange stuff I mean you can drift a Golf R now I mean there you go. <laughs> I don't, again, what's the point? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. But uh, yeah, I mean, I, I haven't. Out of all the golf bars I've tried with the force back, I haven't tried drift mode, and I, I, it's not like the first thing on my mind when I think of golf. Out of car park. <laughs> no, I, I think they saw the Focus RS from 2016, and they thought, oh, that's easy. Software. Yeah. We'll just we'll just make it so just that power ratio at back. Boom. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> just like yeah, one wheel tire fire, and um, you're done. But. Uh, if you're going to go that level, just just get yourself a rear wheel drive. Yeah, exactly. Oh, it's, it's probably it's probably be my my recommendation. I'm loving like the the gloss black mirrors and again I know it's just little caps and stuff that you can like you can make a, a normal club sport look like look a 45. Like yeah. And uh, I, that's probably the good thing. And I, I would recommend it. I'd say you get your 19 inch wheels and get these tires on it. Go go yeah. for it. A hundred percent. Bit of bit of wrap. Yeah, exactly. On your, on, your, uh, on your roof and everything. Yeah. That that gloss back roof looks great. It looks mm. really, really good, and it's all the way back right to the spoiler. Yeah. So it's sort of like it blends properly in. Um, links up with the door mirrors, so they've really got the yeah in in person. Mm. I think it looks great. I think you've absolutely smashed it. I'm not gonna lie. And like it's a golf. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. It's just a goal. But then kids can be there, and you can be an eco, and <laughs> no one's going to get un unhappy with you because you, you know, it's not an, it's not a cheap car. It's, it's a decent amount of car in here. Um, it's well, it's just it does everything. You mm -hmm. don't need a second car. You wouldn't be driving this and going, oh, I wish I had that little sports car on the side, or oh, I wish I had that more practical car on the side. You're just like, no, I've got this. <laughs> this <laughs> one limited run club sport forty five. Mm -hmm. And just yeah. be a decision. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. And uh, like I said, I almost went for a Cooper. I really did, but but the the fact that they've diluted the range, we used to think Cooper quick. Yeah. But yeah. now you can get one point five liter Coopers. Yeah. Is it just they're like overusing the badge? Yeah, they, that's what they're doing. So, they've just they've just created a whole new brand of Cooper and diluted it to the point of a one liter Cooper. Who was? Uh, and that's and that's not cool. And no. But they they do that so much, don't they? I mean, I'm hopefully. And that colour on that car, the petrol blue, is a beautiful colour, on the coupe. Oh, so it's like you'd be <laughs> like, oh, I could have just saved myself a lot and gone for yeah. one litre. <laughs> but that's the thing is, it's an image thing, isn't it? People just that they want the looks and they don't. They're they don't have to about pay. the power. Yeah. yeah, they don't. They don't care because I mean, I, I generally even I'll stand by this. I think for the 300 horsepower. You don't want to be going too much more on no. the road. I mean, max and a really sorted car, four hundred. But even then, you're going to be like, you've probably got too much. You you can have so much fun with a three hundred horsepower car. Well, I've I've driven cars with five hundred horsepower, and to be to be fair, people don't expect you to approach them as quick as you do. No, it's and it scary. can cause yeah, accidents. It causes, <laughs> I mean, on that road there, I mean, we were, you know, in in limits and stuff like that, and it's like, where would I be? Where I'd think, oh, I'd want to be in. So quicker I think that is a lot faster yeah. probably not but then if you want to brag and show off to your mates and you just want that sort of like you know oh I've got this well, don't get me wrong I'd have a Porsche no problem no <laughs> yeah exactly you, you would wouldn't you but I think in the actual for a driver yeah yeah, just just, just have this um, yeah so, I mean again I think I say this I, I say this to all the owners I've, I've talked to you for so much and talked to you about the car um, but we probably should wrap it up before my GoPro decides <laughs> to overheat and, and explode <laughs> Thank you so much for the drive. Uh, I'm trying to think of any other questions that I might have missed or the audience might have wanted me to ask. Um, I, I, I can uh, always answer in comments. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> go, go for the comments <laughs> as well. Get involved in the comments. Like the video as well. It helps. You know, it's it really does help. You know, I literally don't make any money off YouTube. So any 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 like, any subscriptions, anything like that, it just helps the channel really. And people like yourself giving me the chance to do something like this works. You know. 
even if someone didn't want me to drive their car, a Q and A is great. You know, I can if you want if you're happy enough to yeah. do both, that's absolutely fantastic, and I'll obviously share it with people. Um, but yeah, that's the main thing. And if you've got to like forty, well, fifty minutes into the video because there's ten minutes before this. Um, yeah, why not? Why not get involved? Particularly whilst we're sort of holding out for the last little bit of summer, clearly, <laughs> um, before we're all sort of hide back and our cars get sort of like covered up again. Um, yeah, get involved and reach out. Email, DM on Instagram, all on my YouTube about section, I'd go for that. Um, before we finish though, at Akropovich Exhaust, do you think, uh, you got, I kind of know the answer to this, if it didn't have it and it just had the standard one, would you still go on for the 45, do you think? Yeah, probably. Yeah, it is. It's a weird. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's what I thought you'd but say. Akrapovich are on everything now, though. Aren't they? Any new car has them. You know what? It's that over usage yeah. thing because they they had them they had them on the Golf R the seven point fives yeah. and it was like wow that's amazing and they did sound they sound did better because they weren't strangled with OPFs and filters and stuff. Yeah. Um, but you're quite right. Over over usage is not a good thing. The, the Stelvio Quadrifoglio Julia they can have them now. Uh, I'm sure I've seen other cars that offer well, it. A lot of like um, independents as well. They'll they'll stick them on like Porsches and stuff like that as well. So it's like, yeah, it, it, it does get a little bit overused. So I don't know if again that's going to be a diluted brand. <laughs> maybe, maybe. I mean, a, a real, I think a real quality item. I think that's the thing. I think if you, I mean, it's you, titanium. Yeah, titanium. <laughs> if you lifted it up and you looked at it, you'd be like, ah, oh, that's. Th there is a reason why they charge that amount of money for it. Of course, it. yeah. 100% and I think it is quite good that they don't offer it as even as an option um, what on the club sport yeah you can't you cannot oh. get a, an Acropovich exhaust on club sport you can get it on a Golf R um, but you cannot get it so you, you know you've got something pretty unique and pretty special um, I could think of about probably a million things to say on my drive back that I probably could have asked you but <laughs> um, no thank you so much for the drive I thought it was fantastic I'm glad you're enjoying it as well I'm glad you finally got hold of it yeah. and I hope this has given sort of people watching some sort of insight of what the 45 is about I think it's good yeah, you it obviously is. think it's great um, looks great in person I know camera footage and audio footage perhaps never really works out so you'll just have to take our word for it so both clearly petrol heads and we know our kind of stuff so <laughs> I, I'm sure it helps you out um, yeah uh, anything anything from your side no uh, that's, that's <laughs> all happy yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah let, let's let's end it there thank you again so much no um, like share subscribe that's all you have to do help the channel I'll create more content for you guys um, but I hope you enjoyed the video check back on the previous videos or video of the drive and some cool footage hopefully of the car and um, yeah I'll put that in the description whether or not I do this video first or after I'm not too sure so yeah <laughs> check in those and um, I right, yeah, hope you enjoy them all. Um, thank you so much for watching. Cheers, guys.